good morning class today we are going to start we have completed the third chapter of grammar and today we are going to start a new chapter from english marigold now look at the board everybody if you are having the book with you please open your book the book is in the Okay student if you are having the book with you please open the book and today we are going to do a new chapter we are going to start a new chapter that is unit number 4 and uh, the name of the chapter is trying unit number 4 chapter number 7 chapter number 7 and the name of the chapter it's a poem it's a poem and the name of the chapter is crying name of the chapter is crying okay today we are going to study about crying a chapter and the poet of the poem is who is the poet the writer the poet of the poem is galway kinnel galway kinnel galway kinnel it's the poet of the poem the poet of the poem crying is galway kinnel fine now we are going to start a new chapter please uh, everybody open your book and let us read the poem first read and enjoy read and enjoy the poem it once again if you are able to hear me raise your hand please due to network problem network problem ho gaya hai to beta agar awaaz aa rahi hai to aaz utha do yes thank you awaaz aa rahi hai sabko everyone is able to hear me usko mute hi rehne de wo mute hi rahega main isse fine student once again please if you are able to hear me aaj aa rahi hai sari hai now Now look it up again. Let us finance and disturbance. Now look here again. Now uh, we are going to start a new chapter. That is unit number four, chapter number seven. And the name of the chapter is crying. Crying. What do you mean by crying? Crying means rona ya chillana. Means to scream or to weep or to weep. The meaning of crying. Crying means to scream 
or to weep rona ya chillana fine and the poet the name of the poet the poet is galway kinnel it's the poet of the poem crying is poem ko kisne likha hai galway kinnel gal galway kinnel is the poet of the pro, poem crying and today we are going to read and study about a poem and the name of the poem is crying fine students now again now uh, let us read read it crying only a little bit is no use crying only a little bit is no use you must cry until your pillow is shocked then you can jump into the shower and splash 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 next paragraph then you can throw open your window and ha 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 and if people say hey what's going on up there ha ha sing back again happiness was hiding in the last tear i wept it ha ha once again let us read the poem crying only crying only a little bit is no use the poet here the galway kinnel is asking or he is instructing student he is telling the student that little bit to cry little bit thoda rona it's of no use cry until your pillow is soft aapko tab tak rona hai jab tak aapka pillow takiya pura geela na ho jaye thoda sa rone se andar ka jo gham the sadness which is inside you the word which is hurting you until unless you cry cry it out will do the poet here he is asking the student to cry 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 and cry until your pillow get shock aapko tab tak rona hai thoda rona koi fayda mand nahi hota thoda sa roya fir bhi gham andar rehta hai fir bhi dard andar rehta hai gham andar rehta hai so the poet here asking is uh, asking you to cry more to cry more and more till your pillow get shock jab tak aapka takiya puri tarike se geela nahi ho jata hai tab tak aapko rona hai you should cry okay next term. then you can jump into the shower and splash 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 then the poet here here he is uh, instructing you that after crying a lot you can jump into a shower what do you mean by shower shower means phuara upar se jo barish aati hai na tip 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 ya phuare washroom mein bathroom mein laga hoga phuare ki tarah jo pani girta hai sar pe nahane ke liye to aap shower ke andar ja sakte ho aur splash splash yani splash splash means yahan pani ki chap chap ki awaaz pani ke chap chap ki awaaz like here look here here after crying a lot after crying a lot you can uh, move into the shower and splash 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 the sound where agar aap pani ke andar chap chapate ho to usme jo sound aata hai to wo sound ko english mein kehte hain splash 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 once again here in the first paragraph the poet he is asking the student in the first paragraph the first stanza the poet is asking every student to cry a lot he is uh, saying that uh, crying a little bit of is no use crying a little bit is no use you should cry until your pillow get fully shock puri tarike se jab tak bhig na jaye tab tak aapko rone ke liye keh raha hai after crying then you can go to the shower and take bath take bath uh, fresh up yourself then the next stanza then you can throw open your window then open your window after taking bath the first paragraph was instructing you that uh, galway kinnel the poet he is saying that students little bit little thoda sa rona it's of no use crying a little bit is no use you should cry a lot you should cry a lot until your pillow gets wet aapko itna rona chahiye जब रोते हो तो इतना रो कि आपका जो पिलो है वो पूरी तरह से भीग जाए पिलो मीन तकिया ओके एंड देन यू कैन ओपन योर विंडो एंड टेक अ बाट स्प्लैश 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 आई एम इन फुल वे एंड दिस इज द वे यू आर कमिंग इन साइड नो आई एम इंस्ट्रक्टिंग यू दैट प्लेस आई एम टीचिंग one second sorry in the first paragraph the poet galway kinnel in the first paragraph the poet galway kinnel he is asking every student and he is saying that crying little bit is of no use thoda sa rona rona nahi hota hai you should cry a lot till your pillow get wet aapko itna rona chahiye taki aapka takya puri tarike se 
गीला हो जाए देन देन यू कैन जम्प इन टू द शावर देन यू कैन जम्प इन टू दॉशरूम और बाथरूम एंड टेक बाथ फ्लैश एंड फ्लैश नाउ नेक्स्ट इन जॉब then you can throw throw open your window then you can open your window and start laughing uske baad aap hal sakte ho open your window and start laughing ha 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 and if the people say hey what's going on out there and let me start again crying only a little bit is of no use here the poet he is saying that uh, crying a little bit is of no use thoda sa rona koi fayda mein nahi hota hai you, you must cry until your pillow gets soft you must cry a lot ab to bahut dher sara rona chahiye you should cry a lot that your that your pillow gets wet fully soft aapko itna rona chahiye ki aapka jo sakiya hai wo puri tarike se geela ho jaye completely wet then you can jump into the shower and splash 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 here the poet is saying that after crying a lot go and take bath and then open your window and then open your window and start laughing ha 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 in if the people around you uh, the person who are or the people who are working nearby if they ask you that why you are laughing then you can say that if they ask that you hey what's going on up there kya ho raha hai upar aap khidki khol ke has rahe ho then you can uh, reply them that uh, the happiness was hidden in my last year i wept it out means the sadness mere andar jo jo dukh tha wo sab ro diya maine and now i am happy now i am happy okay and you can inform the people that uh, the happiness was hidden in my last year so the question may ask uh, the, there there might be a question for you that uh, what was hidden in the last year what was hidden in the last year one second students just a second yes here the poet galve kindle aap se ye keh raha hai ki aapko itna rona chahiye itna rona chahiye ki aapka takiya puri tarike se geela ho jaye geela means puri tarike se pure tarike se bhig jaye itna pura bhig jaye tab rona rona hota hai but uh, here the poet is saying that uh, crying a little bit is of no use okay once again i'm repeating again and again the same words that uh, the name of the chapter is crying crying means rona and here the poet uh, he is asking you or he is informing you that crying a little bit is of no use thoda rona rona nahi hota lower more thoda rona chahiye taki kya puri tarike se geela ho jaye and after that after crying a lot you can uh, jump into the shower aap nahane ke liye शावर के नीचे जंप कर सकते हो और पानी को खेल सकते हो छप छप देन यू कैन ओपन द विंडो आफ्टर टेकिंग बाट यू कैन ओपन द विंडो एंड स्टार्ट लफिंग स्टार्ट लफिंग फुल के हंसी फुल के हंसी एंड यू समवन इज आस्किंग हे व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन अप देयर आप ऊपर क्या कर रहे हो खिड़की खोल के हंस रहे हो देन यू कैन इन्फॉर्म देम इन्फॉर्म द पीपल दैट द हैप्पीनेस वाज हिडन इन माय लास्ट ईयर मेरी आंख के जो आंख है बूंद में मेरी खुशियां छुपी हुई थी इसीलिए मैंने मेरे अंदर जो जहां भी दुख था वो मैंने बाहर निकाल दिया दिस वॉज द पॉइंट नाउ या नाउ लेट इज डिस्कस अबाउट सम ऑफ दर्ड मीनिंग डिस्कस अबाउट सम ऑफ दर्ड मीनिंग ऑफ दिस चैप्टर द चैप्टर नंबर सेवन वट डू मीन बाई शॉक शॉक मीन्स कंप्लीटली वेट शॉक शॉक मीन्स कंप्लीटली वेट नाउ लुक एर अबाउट let us discuss about number 1 shock 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 means completely wet puri tarike se bhiga hua completely wet students now let us see the second one puri tarike se bhig jana pure tarike se bhiga hua 
Now see the second one, shower. Shower means taking bath. Bath, bath in which water is spread from above. Water, bath in water in which in in which bath in water in which water is spread from above. Above spread from above. Above. Yani upper se pani girna. Na hati vag upper se jab pani girta hai, usko ham kya kehte hain? Shower. Now let us see the third one. What do you mean by wept? What do you mean by wept? Wept means shed tears. Shed tears. Shed tears. Rona. Number four. Bit. Little bit means a little. A little. Thoda sa. Slightly. Number five. Pillow. Pillow. Pillow means takia. I hope you know. I will send you the English meaning. Takia. And splash. Splash means what? Fall of water noisily on to a surface. This was the word meaning. There are uh, six word meaning. Pillow. Next one is number six is splash. Yes. Splash. Splash means sound of water. Splash. Chup, chup, chup. Pani ki awaz. Usko bhi kehte hai. So today I will send you and I hope you have already written written the question and answer or uh, sorry the definitions of the phrases and clauses and today i have completed the uh, seventh chapter and it is a poem who is the poet of the poem the poet of the poem is galway kindle what is the name of the seventh chapter the name of the seventh chapter is crying and it is a poem and here the, the poet galway kindle is asking everyone uh, he is saying that crying a little bit is of no use thoda sa rona koi fayde mand nahi hota Cry a lot. Cry until your pillow gets shocked. And then you can jump into the shower and splash, splash, splash. Okay. And then open your window and start laughing. Ha, ha, ha. And if the people nearby working, if they ask you, hey, what's going on up there? Then you can reply them that the happiness was hidden in my last year. I wept it all. Yes, this was your poem. Now, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Happiness. Any question, students? Anyone? If you want to ask a question, raise your hand. The name of the chapter is what? Chapter number seven. It is a poem, and the name of the poem is "Crying," written by Galway Kindle. And the question here, the question here is that, uh, the question here it is that uh, the poet uh, Galway Kindle. Uh, the question is that. Uh, what is the poet asking you to do? Kavi aapse kya karne ke liye hai? If you want to cry, cry a lot. The poet is saying that if you want to cry, cry a lot. Agar aapko rona hai, to achche se roye nahi, to mat roye. Thoda sa rona koi rona nahi hota hai. Kab tak roye? Jab tak ki aapka pillow puri tarike se gila na ho jaye. Who is the poet of the poem? The poet of the poem is Galway Kindle. Okay, one more question, students. I am asking you, what was hidden in the last Year. What was hidden in the last year? Happiness. What was yes? Happiness was hidden in the last year. Yeah. Some more questions are there. Some more questions are there. If you have any question, please don't shout. 